everybody, Chris here with Clean Sports Woodworking Shop. Today we are talking drum sanders. In a previous video we discussed wraps and how to get your wrap dialed in on the machine. Today we're talking conveyor belts. We get a lot of questions when it comes to conveyor belts and tracking, so we thought, you know what, we're launching a new premium material and we'll install our new premium material and get this thing dialed in and running smooth. All right, so we've already taken the, the, con the original conveyor belt uh, was removed, but so to put the new one on, what you'd have to do is remove your, your two nuts off this left side, remove the two Allen screws and washers off of the motor side, just like this. And of course, anytime you want to do any kind of maintenance on your machine, you always want to reference the owner's manual because the manufacturer's recommendations should always be followed. Uh, one, that helps ensure your warranty is intact, but two, it also makes sure you're doing it right because doing it the proper way makes a big difference when you get into these high-end machines like this. To make things a little bit easier, wrap the power cord around the drive motor. Carefully lift up and remove the conveyor belt motor assembly. Okay, so these are kind of bulky and odd to work with. So you either figure out a way to sort of clamp it laying down and start the belt, or you have a buddy holding one end of it while you get it started. So I always like to start on this end since this is the side that's flexible. You always wanna make sure that the wrench part is up, otherwise that could create problems. Get that slid over, and once you get it started, it slides right on. So that's it for just getting that installed. Now let's put this back on the machine. So the first thing I like to do is get this side sort of locked in starting. And I, I never want to fully tension it. I always just sort of loosely finger tight these. You always want to make sure that the uh, plate that is lined up with the hole before you put your, your bed on, and you want to make sure to get that aligned and started. I always like to start with the conveyor motor side because you do have the ability here to move this slightly as needed. These should never be fully tensioned down. Really all you need is finger tightening on these Allen screws. The, uh, the two nuts on the other side, you will tighten down, but on these, you just want them finger tight because you still want to have plenty of movement here for your adjustment bar. Okay, so before we even start tensioning of the belt, you want to make sure that your roller on, the, on both sides is perfectly parallel or level with your bed. So if it's not flush, you're gonna have to make adjustments. And here we know this is already loose from us being able to move the conveyor off. So when we get ready to tighten this up, we're gonna wanna raise that up flush with the bed on both sides. Okay, so if you've got your in-feed and out-feed tables, you definitely want to make sure that that table is 
when you're doing this test is slightly lower than the bed and what you're going to want to do is inspect this side as well and on this particular one the roller that comes right through here is lower by about an eighth so we're going to have to pop this cover off the bottom and tension that roll and do adjustments on that roller So you want to make sure that the front roller, when you, you're done checking the, the, the infeed on the outfeed side, you want to make sure that these rollers, before you tension them down, are parallel. You want to leave these a little loose because you still have to be able to adjust them, but the main thing is they've got to be parallel. So I'm getting them just snug, still enough where they'll move. So your two tensioning screws, you want to make sure that these are tensioned fairly evenly. So ideally what you, you want to do is you want to get these just barely, just barely snug where you've got a little tension on the conveyor. Then we're going to turn the conveyor on and run a little test. So you want to get this adjusted out on evenly on both sides until you're just starting to feel a little tension. Then you want to turn your conveyor on until it until it's able to pull it through freely, just barely. But also that when you apply a little pressure, if you can stop it, that's where you want to really start dialing it in. It's not quite ready, but that's at least a starting point now that you can start to tension it. So I'm gonna make a little mark here just as a reference, so that I, if the mark disappears, then I know it's tracking this way. If the mark, the distance between the belt and the mark gets wider, then I know it's tracking that way. It's just gonna help me identify which way the machine is running. Okay, so see my pencil line used as a reference that helped me see as the belt was beginning to track towards the motor. I was able to get all the tracking adjusted uh, to get the belt right. So that's it. So get your tracking done and you're good to go. Uh, get everything, make sure everything's tensioned down as it should be and uh, ready to start running some boards. Well, there you go. So that's how you change out the conveyor belt on a drum sander. Well, we appreciate you watching. Stay for further videos down the line. This is Chris with Clean Sports Woodworking Shop. We'll see you next time.